Uh, hi, my name is uh, Jacopo Margutti. I'm a data scientist at uh, 510, the data and digital initiative of the Netherlands Red Cross. My background is uh, physics, that's what I studied, but it has been uh, four years already that I have the pleasure to work with my team, 510. Uh, besides working on data analysis and machine learning, uh, I supported the movement uh, with the information management in several emergencies, both remotely and in, uh, through field deployments. So 510 co-developed uh, together with disaster managers from uh, national societies and uh, partner national societies, the automatic damage assessment uh, tool, uh, which uh, in short we call ADA. Uh, when a disaster occurs, um, what is really important to know as soon as possible is how many people are affected, where they live, and how much damage there is, uh, in particular building damage, so in order to properly plan the response operations. The automated damage assessment uh, uh, tool uses a deep learning model to identify damaged buildings in satellite images um, after a disaster has happened. Uh, and automating this assessment makes it faster makes it less dependent on a human effort, uh, so also more reliable, and therefore enabling 510 to quickly deliver the information that is needed right after a disaster. So basically we're trying to speed up the damage assessment, uh, building damage assessments, uh, which uh, usually take uh, weeks, uh, or if not longer, to be conducted. Um, now, what we can do now, thanks to ADA, is to produce first estimates uh, potentially within hours after the disaster, or in any case, uh, within hours after the first satellite images are collected. Uh, this enables disaster managers to plan, to prepare a plan for the response, based on actual evidence of the scale and the extent of the damage, uh, because the information uh, is now provided to them early enough in the process. because it has great potential to make a disaster response more evidence-based and therefore more accurate, uh, therefore matching the needs of uh, affected people while using resources as optimally as possible. Technology can be used to streamline processes, to make them more efficient uh, and to reduce uh, costs. For example, automation tools uh, like uh, ADA uh, can be used uh, to perform very quickly those tasks that are usually done uh, manually, uh, reducing the amount of time and money required to carry them out. Technology can also be used to improve communication between teams and therefore allowing for more efficient collaboration and decision making. And last but not least, it can help the communication and exchanging information with the uh, affected population during a disaster. Um, after the explosion that happened in uh, Beirut in 2020, uh, my team, 510, was able to map out the areas affected by the explosion using the automated damage assessment uh, tool. Uh, it included both satellite imagery uh, that were provided after the disaster, but also street view images. Uh, through the satellite images that were sent to us, we were able to do the analysis and to deliver it uh, to the Lebanese Red Cross within 24 hours uh, from when they requested it, at the very right after the explosion. Um, thanks to this, the Lebanese Red Cross, which was extremely busy delivering aid in the, in the heat of the emergency, could quickly have an idea of the extent and scale of the damage. Technology can help solve humanitarian challenges uh, by providing access to resources, enabling communication between aid workers and affected people, and facilitating the efficient distribution of aid. Uh, technology can also help create the data-driven solutions that can provide evidence-based insights into vulnerable populations and their needs. With access to data, decision makers can more effectively identify and target vulnerable population, design more effective aid programs, and track the progress of those programs. Technology can also empower communities to build capacity and access information, helping them to make informed decisions about their own lives.